Hello everyone, Pepe Gomez here. I'm going to show you how to install and use AWS command line interface. Basically, the AWS command line interface is a unified tool to manage your AWS services. With just one tool to download and configure, we can control multiple AWS services from directly command line here. The idea of this video is show you how to use on Ubuntu and I know I'm using Mac but I will start the docker container and this docker container is on my docker hub and it's public so feel free to use it I'm using the Ubuntu Bionic. So basically now I'm starting. I have a user called Pivi Gomez, my name, and the name of the password is 123. So, okay, we have uh, many ways to install AWS CLI, but in this version of Ubuntu, we can also use uh, the apt-get. So we can install with a package and we will do it so we will type sudo apt-get search let's search first for this package like i said the password is one two three for this container and okay we find it we found it and sudo apt install aws okay it's going to install and we will ask some it asks some questions about my time zone just to configure it quickly. While it's starting, open your AWS web console. So, okay, I have my AWS console open here and Hold, hold this part and back to the terminal. Okay, now the question is, please select the geographic area. Okay, I am on America. And now I need to select the region to respond to my time zone. So a lot of regions here. I am on Brazil, Sao Paulo. And Brazil, Sao Paulo is 133, 133. Okay, 133. Okay. And now I get in my AWS console because I'm installing the, the AWS CLI, but we need, we need to configure the credentials. So here on AWS, click on users, the user that you want to create the credential, you want to configure the credential. This tab, security credential, click on create access key. And it's okay, download the CSV file because we are no longer able to, to get the secret key access after close this tab, this window. And, but we are, only use it now. Okay, let's check about our AWS version. Okay, it's installed 1.14.44 and check the help commands. So here in the help command, we receive this message, cannot find the executable name of graph. It's common because we are using GNU and we must to have the graph. Graph is basically the interface to format tests on GNU. So apt install slash yes slash graph. All right, well, I don't, I didn't close it yet. It's good because I will use, and okay, just installing the GROF package.
you can also while it opening the AWS installation page, the official one. Okay, it's okay now. Just check again, AWS help. Okay, now we can see help of all of services available on AWS CLI. But I need to configure it first. For example, I cannot do something like this. AWS S3 LS, I need now what I'm doing is listing the buckets, but I cannot do it because I have no credentials. So I need to type AWS configure it and paste my credentials. So I already pasted the access key ID and now the secret key. Now also the region that I prefer to keep by default, I use US West 1, JSON format, I usually use JSON. Okay, let's check again, AWS S3 LS. And now, okay, I can list all of my buckets on, on my AWS account. I can do now uh, any, I can type any comments inside uh, the, the AWS CLI, but of course my user should have the permissions to the resources that I want to use. For example, I want to create S3 bucket. So how can I create S3 bucket? I think he's using MB, let's check. Yes, MB is a common. Let's see, MB help what this command does. The following command creates a bucket in this, in this example now, the example of how to create your bucket. And I will, okay. Actually, I think I already have this bucket, so let's create another name. Hello world. Bucket. Oh, my bad. AWS S3 MB S3. Hello, word. Difficulties. Okay, it was created. So let's type AWS S3 LS to check my bucket. So here is my bucket. And I have, like I said, I can type any AWS commands. For example, AWS Cloud Formation. This, I don't remember the command, so Cloud Formation help. Cloud Formation list stacks to check all of my Cloud Formation stacks in production. So confirmation list stacks. Okay, now I can see all of my stacks by IG, stack name, things like that. And that's all guys. Now you know how can start and use it on Linux Ubuntu. See you in the next video, bye bye.